Hello. Thank you for joining me on the floor of my home today so I can explain to you, is this correct or is flipping it upside down correct? We've all been to a hospital and if you're observant, you'll notice it's flipped upside down. So is this the right way or is the hospital doing it the right way? Uh, if you think about it, probably the hospital, right? So let's explain real quick. Quick explanation here. We have negative and positive on the top and we have ground on the bottom. This plug was introduced later on in the 20th century. If you've been to a house built in the 30s and 40s, it typically doesn't have the ground on it. It just has the negative and positive. The ground was added later for safety purposes. So here's a three prong plug, just like you've seen before. Now, if I plug this in, just like that, no consequence, it just operates as normal. But if it was tripped over, or someone was tugging on it for just a little bit, and it was kind of like that, and we've all seen this, and whatever device is plugged in is still working, the two prongs are exposed there. If you have a desk right up against it, and there's a little gap here, and you slide a paper clip all the way to the end, in theory, granted it's a small possibility, but there is a possibility that it could fall and land on both of those. Perhaps a household key, something metal, maybe in a kitchen using uh, your metal utensils, whatever it is, there's a potential for it to fall on top of that and connect negative and positive together. When that happens, if a circuit breaker is operating correctly, the circuit will pop. If a circuit breaker is not operating correctly, it could cause a fire. So when they developed this plug, they actually wanted it rotated this direction with the ground on top. And it's because of the shape of this plug. So when it's like this, if it were plugged in like just like that and pulled out just slightly, whatever was falling, the theory being it would hit here and fall off. It wouldn't connect the two. And if it rolled this way, it'd have enough to just kind of fall this way. So there'd be no consequence. Again, theoretical, but that was the purpose of the plug. So the hospital is correct when they flip it upside down. Now, how did it end up like this in every single house in America? Well, the theory being... It's an old wife's tale, it's a myth, whatever you want to call it. These are two eyes, and this is the mouth. And our psychology, our primal instincts, whatever it is, make us want to see faces everywhere. We design cars like that with the headlights and the big mouth. A lot of things that we design as humans end up looking kind of like a human face. So the idea is that electricians started putting it in a more friendly manner. Because when it's flipped upside down, it doesn't really make sense to us. But when we have it like this, it kind of looks like a face. So... That's how that happened. That's the wise tale, at least. If you guys are lucky, maybe I'll make a future video and explain why there's holes in these things. Thanks for watching.